Okay, this is question nine from January 2022, P1 paper. Um, if we look at it, it's quite an unusual question. So you can see that I've already done a little bit of prep work uh, just down here, just to get myself ready for the question. Uh, and before we get started, let's just talk about what COS looks like. That's what I'm gonna do here. Um, for COS, what you should all be aware of is COS We'll have this sort of shape. And we should know these values. That's going to be 1. That's going to be minus 1. It'll hit 0, 180, 270, and 360 there, where 180 is going to be where the minus value is, there, the minus 1 value is. It hits the axes at 270 and at 90. So we've got that as our information that we already know even before we get started with this one um, then let's look at the question and the question tells me that point p is 30 minus 3 and the first thing it asks me to do is to work out what the value of a is here and i i, I struggled with this to start off with because what i thought it was going to be was Obviously, if I multiply this curve by 3 here, I'll get something like that going up to 3 and down to minus 3 and 3 there. But then I couldn't reconcile this with what that graph looks like because I'm up here and this one's down there. And that then helped me to realise that it's not just multiplied by 3, it's actually multiplied by minus 3, which is what leads to that switch upside down. So for part A, I don't need this graph now, I'm just using this to help me. Um, part A, it's only one mark, so you can just write it in that, uh, oops, sorry, in purple, A here is going to be equal to minus three. That's why we've got a maximum and a minimum of three there. That means it's gotta be the size of three, the magnitude of three, but the minus is what flips it over. Okay, so that's part A done. On to part B. And before I do part B, just gonna have a quick talk about uh, what the periods are for this one here. We know then that this little bit here down there, but that little bit there is gonna be 30 degrees because of that, it's been shifted 30 degrees over. But then we just have a cos graph, a cos graph that's not affected in any other way in terms of the period. So what I'm actually gonna have is that that length all the way across there is gonna be that little 30 plus 180. Okay, because it's half of the period, that's gonna be 180. This one is a full, period there, so that's 360, and another full period there of 360. What do I mean by a period? I mean, let's do it with sine, for example. That's one complete set of a sine graph, and so the period is um, how, it, it's gonna just keep repeating after that. It repeats every 360 degrees. Okay, so now let's look at the question for part B. Part B says, can we find the coordinates of Q over there? Well, remember now, I've got that my function is minus three cos x minus 30. And if I'm trying to work out what Q is, the x value for Q is gonna be 210 plus 360 plus 360. So I think that's 9.30 there. So my actual coordinates for Q are going to be three, sorry, are going to be 9.30 and then three. You can either work out the three by putting 9.30 into that or probably more common sense, just understanding that these two values are three and minus three because the whole thing's been stretched scale factor three from our original graph which we know 
as a height of one and a minimum height of minus one. So funny little question, that one there. Hopefully that will make sense to you. Uh, on to the next one.